Planes, Games with Jay. Okay. So, uh... We get to start the episode with your best segment. The one you're so good at. You sure about this? Uh... I can't hear you! What do you want? You sure not listening? Proof, proof, proof! Proof, 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 proof! Now you're getting the hang of it. There we go. Okay. <laughs> uh. La la la, I can't hear you! La 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 la! Oh, what? Oh, I have to choose the right one? Oh. Correct! Uh-oh, looks like you gotta play some more! Oh my god! Maybe use your brain! Okay, which one? Which one is it? Uh, I can't hear you, Lala. What is the reason that we know there's? I don't remember. I don't. I like. We took a long break, dude. I don't That's remember. Sure, we did take a break to eat some popcorn. <laughs> it is basically they're asking. Um... <laughs> what, what are they asking? What are they asking? Quick. Buy lab lights. Buy lab lights. Okay. Okay. Uh. 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 <laughs> I wanted some popcorn. The inconsistency Yoko is talking about is the lights. <laughs> what are you talking about? What about the lights? Like I said before, the biolab also acts as a morgue. And as a part of that, a giant refrigerator was installed in there. That's where everyone who's died is stored. And it was set up so that when a slot had a body in it, a blue light would turn on. In other words, if the blue light is on, that means there's a body in that slot. But I counted up the m number of blue lights that were on, on uh, including the one Mukuro was in. And there was only nine. Why does that matter? You gotta give me the bite-sized version here, man. Nine lights doesn't make sense. Oh, go for it. Ten of the lights should have been on. Any other number is incredibly suspicious. Suspicious? Why? That's simple. Just recall who's died here so far and it should become clear. That's right. That's the key to solving this mystery. Saika died first. Junko was second. Leon was third. Chihiro was fourth. Mondo was fifth. Taka was 6th, then Hifumi was 7th. Celeste was 8th. Sakura was 9th. And victim number 10 was Mukuro. Um, so 10, pe 10 people in all? That's right. Any other number should make you immediately suspicious. But according to the lights in the biolab, only 9 people were being stored in there. You're saying a body, dead body just up and disappeared? I got it. The mastermind destroyed one of the bodies to get rid of that evidence. But if they wanted to do that, they would have destroyed Mukuro's body since they actually killed her. And yet, her body was left alone. Then whose body disappeared? It may very well be that none of them disappeared. But if that's true, then why doesn't the body count match? Including Monokuma's executions, there were there have apparently been 10 deaths, but there were only 9 bodies. That's the point I'm trying to make. I'm completely lost. How can the number of victims be less than the number of murders? The reason there are less bodies than murders, the explanation for more murders and victims. Why is that? What would it take for that to make sense? Um... Oh, wait. No, no, no. That's patently untrue, Jay. <laughs> I'm still under the guys. Okay, sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm like theory crafting in my head right now. Uh, well, to make mastermind didn't. Did they destroy a body? No, we just said they. Oh, destroyed a body. Nope, hold on. We just, we just lost this. We just said they did. Yeah, I know. That's why I was like, wait, that doesn't make you any sense. You deserve this game over. You deserve this game over. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know yeah, what that yeah, means? Yeah, 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 Time yeah, to okay. die. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah, never yeah, mind. Yeah, yeah. I can't give up now. JK. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Oh, my God. 
Listen, popcorn head. Focus on the game. People are like, it wouldn't be a finale if Jay didn't use his head. <laughs> ha ha ha. I'm so smart in the comments. They are smart. Yeah, I'm the one that's dumb. <sighs> so fucking dumb. You're not fucking dumb. You just had too much popcorn. It was good popcorn, though. Thank you. I made it. Not microwave popcorn. I made it in the wok. And he grew the seeds himself. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Can I fast forward through this? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. circle. Oh, wait. They all, oh, they. Okay. Like, <laughs> <laughs> which they got you again. What about if the same person was killed twice? Huh? Killed twice? Officially, 10 murders have been committed so far. But one of the victims may have been murdered and then murdered again. Murdered and murdered again? Oh, that would. Okay. If that's the case, there could have been 10 killings, but still only 9 victims, right? Technically, you're right, but I guess, I guess, but still something like that could easily have happened. No, it is what happened. Sounds like you're already convinced. And can you tell us who was killed twice? It was Mukuro, of course. Before she was killed as Mukuro Ikusaba, she was killed as someone else. And that's why the body had to be stored in the bio lab, until the moment we found it in the garden. No, 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 that's crazy talk. She was killed as someone else? Come on. Besides, who could that someone else even have been? All of you had to do is look at those body injuries of hers, and that will become obvious. Nothing's gonna become obvious, because Kyoko's totally delusional. Okay, it's not this one, so I'm gonna have to copy something. Who's this someone else that Mukuro was killed as? Sayaka Maizono? Junko Inoshima? Oh. Leon Kuwata? Okay, so they're going through their names. Shihiro Fujisaki? Mando Owara? Kiyotaka Ishimaru? Ifumi Yamada? Celestia Le whatever? <laughs> or maybe Sakura Ogami? No, no, no. There's no way anyone was murdered twice. Okay, I know what to do. My theory. I remember those red nails. I knew it. Junko. Wasn't her fatal injury pretty similar to Mukuro's? What do you mean? Well, remember what happened to her? She was impaled by a bunch of spears all over her body. And Mukuro died from a number of wounds across her body. When you compare that to the stab wounds Junko suffered, then the similarities match? Yes, and those are the only, only fatal injuries that match up. That explains why those two bodies are actually one and the same. So let me see if I have this straight. Junko, or someone going by that name, was stabbed to death with multiple spears. Then her body was kept in the bio lab for however long before being dragged out again. Only this time it was presented as the corpse of one Mukuro Ikusaba. It all matches up, right? Those wounds Junko suffered could easily be the same, these same injuries. Then, is it really true? Mukuro and Junko are the same person? Wait, so then... No, oh, what does it all mean? It means that there haven't been ten victims, but nine. Which also means that among the people we thought were dead, one is still alive. And that's the true identity of the mastermind? Who is it? Who's behind all this? We already know the answer to that. It's Mukuro. She's still alive. She took Junko's body and made it look like she was the one who died. So Mukuro is still alive. She's gotta be. 
Total silence. Then I must be right. I'm right, aren't I? Mukuro alive? The one that's still alive is Mukuro? But can we really believe that? No, there's no way. There's no way Mukuro Ikusaba is still alive. Uh, let me read all these real quick. Um, it was, it was profile. Okay. Um, fatal injury. Covering wounds. Oh, oh, no, no, no. It's the profile. Uh, uh. Kyoko confirmed that the corpse matches these characteristics. Yeah, 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 okay. I don't even remember what the third one was. The body we found in the garden. It, it wasn't Mukuro. Sorry, Toko, but we're not going through this right now. <laughs> no, the body we found in the garden was Mukuro. That's one thing we can be sure of. The body's appearance and measurements are consistent with her records. Right, Kyoko? She was 5 foot 6 inches tall and weighed 97 pounds. Her vitals were 31, 21, 32. Everything in her profile is consistent with that corpse. And then there's the matter of the Fenrir tattoo. So there's no question it's her. But if Mukuro's not the mastermind, then who's actually still alive? Someone made it look like they died, but they're actually still alive. There's only one person it could be. I knew that it was too soon for her to die. There was something suspicious about that. Now, do you want to talk about the other thing? Let's talk. Let's let's talk. A oh yeah, hold on. Let me. So unfortunately, while I was checking the channel while uploading some videos, uh, I accidentally saw a comment notification that someone did spoil. Who did hey, thanks everybody. I told you not to spoil this, <laughs> and in the very it's... the very last stretch of the game. You spoil the biggest thing. You missed out on an actual J reaction. I, that is, Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. That is unfortunate. However, what I, did the comments say? The, the literally the first sentence was something like, "We all know the mastermind is Junko," or something like that. I didn't see that. So I I I I was don't know. It, was it under a spoiler tag? No, I don't think so. I think it was the first sentence. <laughs> Okay. Well, yeah. first off, that sucks. It does suck. However, I, 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 I like, I feel like I've been mentioning before multiple times that I'm like, it's suspicious that like that's Junko's body, but like, but that's so weird. Like, Mukur, I don't think people would. Wear when do you think you would have figured it out if you hadn't know if read that comment? Uh probably at some point during this trial, like, or maybe a little mm -hmm. beforehand. Well, honestly, the photos, the yes. photos, obviously the photos of all of her, all of her fa you know, her face being covered, that's obviously suspicious. But there's one photo where I think it was the group, the classroom one, mm -hmm. her tie had a split, like, white and black mm -hmm. design on it. And I was like, oh, it's her. Like, So do you think that would have been the moment you would have been like, it's Junko? Or I, th I think so. I mm -hmm. think so. Okay. Um, I yeah, I think um, I figured it out even before then. Oh yeah, because of the wounds. When they mentioned that the body had oh. multiple wounds on the body, I was like, Spears. okay, that's that. Okay, yeah, I wouldn't have gone so at ten. But if that's the only thing you know, yeah, so you don't I, you don't know everything. No, 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 I don't know everything. That all but I knew I was that. Say, Spoiler for people. When we ask you to not spoil, <laughs> please don't spoil. You I get it. People are excited to talk, but, but you don't need like because of that. I just I just should have not. You know. What? No, I want no. I don't want you to fake a reaction like a fucking YouTuber. No, I no, want no, them no, to no, learn no. a lesson. Learn a lesson from this. <laughs> uh, like, I mean, again, I don't. I I, I also. I, I, whenever whenever we play Dunkus Rongus two, I truly. Truly have to like you cannot look at anything. I yeah. can't look at it But I'm like, how am I gonna upload the videos? <laughs> That's why I'm like listen people, please <laughs> do not put spoilers It bummed me so much to hear that he saw the 
Because I was It was waiting. right before our recording too I was, today. Yeah. I was waiting for this and you took it from me. So thank you. Thank uh, you so much. All right. Anyway, there's still more to There's uncover. still more, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what's the, the deal yeah. with the school. So yeah. okay. And I will say before this moment. I think it's pretty obvious. Okay, yeah, with the, yeah, with the, yeah, with yeah. the photos. Yeah, with the, with the, yeah, 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 yeah. I think I would piece it together. Yeah, you, so. I think you would have pieced it together, but yeah. I wanted to see it real time. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. You don't need to apologize. <laughs> uh, Joko still alive. Wow. That's the only possibility. Jay definitely <laughs> didn't know that until now. Thanks, comments. Are you sure about that? Huh? I admit, I admit, <laughs> since Mukuro is a bit. A, you're so mad. I'm so mad. <laughs> I'm, like I when when he when he told me at the beginning, I didn't say anything, but I was so mad. <laughs> I admit, since Mukuro is undoubtedly dead, Junko does seem to be the only other explanation. But we saw her get impaled. She died right before our very eyes. If Junko were still alive, the death we saw would have had to have been some kind of charade. But you yourself confirmed she was dead, did you not? Now that you mention it. Yep, this one, yep. I did check absolutely. I can, and I can say that for sure, she was dead. There's no question. Junko was dead. So the idea that she's still alive it must be wrong. Then you're withdrawing your previous statement? <laughs> I know you gave it your best shot, but too bad. I guess your conclusion was a dud. <laughs> too bad, too bad. The case hasn't been decided just yet. Oh? You haven't given up already, have you, Makoto? Huh? No, of course not. There's no way I'd give up that easy. That's all well and good, but how do you intend to solve the problem standing in your way? Junko absolutely died. M Mukuro absolutely died. Then both of them are dead, right? There can't be any kind of survivor story. I think we need to look at this from the opposite direction. Huh? The opposite direction? Let's assume Junko is still alive. If so, how could she have survived? How could have Junko survived? But still, if she were alive somehow, could it be that Junko is not the one that died? It wasn't Junko, but someone else entirely? Maybe she used some sort of trick. Okay, guys, I saw this anime called Naruto once, right? And then every time the villain thought they got Naruto, it poofed and it wasn't them. Oh, shit. <laughs> what? What? What is it supposed to spell? I'm not going to help you at this point. Yeah, yeah no, 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 no. Oh, actually, so what? Someone spoiled this for me, too. No, I actually don't <laughs> well, know what. Please tell me the answer. Yeah, uh... What? I'm just gonna try a letter. That's a vowel. R rep? Reptar. <laughs> it was a Reptar <laughs> all along. Uh, R-E-P... Rep replicate? Oh no. Did I not click I? Rep Repl Am I not spelling replic replicate wrong? <laughs> right. Hold on. Is it A? No, it's not A. Oh, A. Re re replace. There you go. <laughs> replace. <laughs> Maybe someone should have spoiled this for you, too. <laughs> <laughs> Replaced. There we go. And, you know, a substitution jutsu is... Yeah, a <laughs> turns out it was a log. Yeah. That's it. What if she switched places with someone else? Switch places? That's right. Before the spirits could kill her, she got someone to take her place. Specifically, Mukuro Ikusaba. Then that would make it Mukuro's corpse that showed up later. Which is why the body's height and weight and everything match Mukuro's profile, right? I don't know anything about the switching places thing, but... That had to be Junko who got stabbed to death, right? Yeah, you're saying they switched? 
When could they have ever d done that? Right when she was uh, about to die, like she used some kind of Naruto Jutsu! <laughs> Good point. There's just no way they could have switched like that. So maybe the whole idea is wrong. Maybe Naruto was wrong. <laughs> there has to be some way. I need to figure Naruto out how Naruto is right. <laughs> yeah. Believe it. <laughs> Explain how they could have switched. Uh... The two of them may have switched places from the very beginning. What? From the beginning? Yes, from the moment we first met. If that's when they switched. Then they wouldn't have had to switch at the moment of death, right? After all, the one we saw at that point would have already been Mukuro. Uh, hold on. So you're saying the Junko we first met was it actually Mukuro all along? Then we'd already met her? I had like a to normal conversation with her. When we first met, none of us knew who anyone else was. So Mukuro could have simply told us her name was Junko. And we never would have known the difference. That would have easily allowed the two of them to switch places from the very beginning. Wait, but Mukuro had a tattoo on the back of her hand, right? Junko never had any tattoo like that, did she? She could have hidden it with foundation or something like that. If she did, it likely melted melt away in the explosion exposing the tattoo after the body was extinguished. Plus, there were fake nails found on the hands of Bukuro's body. Finally, the nails are mentioned. <laughs> they were the same fake red nails she was wearing when we all met her for the first time. But if she really did use foundation... Correct. Even if there was no tattoo on her hand, I couldn't say for certain it wasn't Mukuro. So I'm glad nobody noticed that glaring hole when we were trying to figure out who attacked Makoto. But too bad for you, Monokuma. You can't deny it anymore. Wait, so... This whole thing was a setup from the very beginning? If that's true, it was quite an elaborate plan, to be sure. Making it look like Mukuro was Jun Junko. The reason such an elaborate plan was possible is because the two of them were working together. So Mukuro, the ultimate despair, teamed up uh, with someone like her. In other words, it would be fair to say that Junko herself was also the ultimate despair. What's wrong? Lost the will to fight back? I think he's just afraid. Afraid? What's that mean, afraid? Fear is only possible where hope is possible. I only have despair, so fear is an alien concept to me. Then why haven't you been saying anything? Because it's a bunch of nonsense. Junko is my secret identity? Poo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> As if! Then why did you try and protect Junko's real identity? I tried to protect her identity? When did I do that? So he still refuses to admit it, but... He can try to deceive us all he wants. It doesn't matter, because I've already figured it out. He tried to hide Junko's identity, not and not just once, but twice. The first time was during our latest investigation. Uh... Uh... Oh, well, the, the explosion. The, the fucking body exploded. Was that our latest investigation, Oh, whoops. Uh, whoop, ha, whoop, whoops, whoops, whoops. 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 Whoopsies. Um. Wait, ultimate despair. Uh, uh, Biolab secret, genocide, Jack's memory. Um. No, that's that doesn't. Hmm. Places to check. Um. So yeah, I might need some help on this. I'm trying to think about what is Monokuma trying to hide. 
uh, right now. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. specifically is he hiding from them? From them, mm -hmm. uh, who, who the other ultimate despair is? And specifically, what about them is he hiding? Uh, their identity, and right? How and right? So their identity and what about them? Like that would identify them. Is he hiding? Uh, their. Oh, who? What they look, really look like? Okay. Yeah. What was the first time he kind of hid that information? Um, hid the info. Hid the info. I thought I was exploring the body, but that was, um, because the body was who? Who was the body? Uh, the body was Mukuro. So would that hide what the real face looks like? The no. The body? No. No. So, what's something that he hid? Maybe it's a little subtle. He okay. like kind of cut something off early. He was like, "Okay, that's enough." Oh, he closed out the control room. No, 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 no. Not oh, literally no. closing, but like he cut something off before we could see. Oh, the interview, the interview tapes, right, right. Uh, because uh, we were watching them, and uh, yeah, and he was like, "Oh, okay, it doesn't work anymore." Yada yada, like. There we go. Well, I was in the AV room watching the DVD of our interviews with Headmaster. It wasn't just a monitor. The DVD player itself had apparently turned off, which of course meant that the DVD wasn't playing anymore. What the heck happened? I took your blog on your service. I took a shit on your blog. I'm sorry. Oh, 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 that's why it doesn't work? Okay. <gasps> you made sure I couldn't finish it watching the video. And the reason you did that is because you didn't want me to see the real Junko, did you? Oh, yeah. If everyone was in that video, of course Junko would have showed, had to show up. And if Makoto saw the real Junko, it would have been totally obvious that the Junko we met was an imposter. That old power outage thing was just a fluke. No, it wasn't a fluke. The mastermind, I definitely orchestrated that power outage. And that's not the only time they tried to hide Junko's identity. The mastermind tried to cover up one other piece of evidence. I've got to reveal that. Okay. Nah, ah! Grr! Grr, I can't hear you! Better luck next time, bitch, 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 bitch. What? What do you want? Punishment is waiting for you. What do you know? You've gotten much better at this. I'm trying. This. Oh. Oh, this is the one I can do whatever I want. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, or you can switch between them. Yeah. Uh, just the interview DVD, right? We. Oh, well, <laughs> the other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm stuck in this hell. Please get me out of here. <laughs> the other way they hid the, fight, the identity. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, ding dong. <laughs> The video wasn't the only thing you tried to cover up. You did the same thing with this group photo. Uh, uh oh. I noticed it just a little while ago when we were all comparing the photos we gotten. In all the photos, there is a certain sim similarity and unusual circumstance. What's so unusual about them? The unusual circumstance. Oh, okay. It is. Uh. Yeah. We're not seeing. We're not seeing real, 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 real Junko face. She's misbelloming it. Junko's face. The one thing common to every single photo is that you can't see her face. Yeah, this was definitely a part where you're like, yeah, okay, I got it now. 
But it is interesting seeing Muk Mukuro though and seeing like, oh yeah, that does look like a palette swap of Junko. Mm. It's hard to believe her face would just happen to be hidden in every single picture, don't you think? And on top of that, in this photo, you can see that Mukuro is clearly visible. So in other words, at that point, the two of them hadn't switched yet. With all that in mind, there's no doubt that the girl whose face is hidden here is the real Junko. Which is why you had to have, oh, had to have pictures that didn't show her face. Because if we could see her face, then it would, ha it would have been clearly revealed. That the Junko in the pictures wasn't the Junko we that we knew. Zanagu! I believe everything Makoto said is true. Junko and Mukuro switched places before we met either of them. So she killed Mukuro, who had taken her place, making it look like she died. And the real Junko is still alive. And she's the one behind this whole murderous situation. This killing game. She's the true mastermind and the ultimate despair. Zanadu times two! With this, the identity and the crimes of the mastermind have been exposed. No, wait, hold on! Don't bother trying to deny it. There's no room for debate. You don't have anywhere left to run. I'll prove everything right now. Uh, actually, we'll do it next time. Oh, yeah, next time. So, bye. See ya.